um, we have OTK and Adrian Lee. All right, let's see what's and going on here. just popped up on OTK versus Adrian Lee court case. With the yeah. case continuing with OTK countersuing Adrian Lee because of lost sponsorships and within the court documents oh, stating fuck. OTK is entitled to recover the value of the lost business opportunities caused by the plaintiff, along with exemplary oh, damages damn. for plaintiff's willful and malicious allegations. If there's any new information that comes out, I'll be sure to keep you guys I up to I still up wish up. that... Um, OTK would have released the investigation that was done into Ms. Kiff, uh, just for transparency for everybody, instead of just being like, oh, believe us. Uh, I think that would have been the better move. Um, I'm, I'm not out here to be... Like, you guys know I was very, very generous and gave Ms. Kiff a lot of charitability uh, during all of that. Uh, the main problem was with his friend Crazy Slick, which got exposed and he got dealt with like he needed to. Um, but a lot of the stuff that Ms. Kiff was accused of was very much so um, nobody really knew. Uh, a lot of the people that were accusing him of that stuff were very shitty people themselves, people that have been known liars, known to be out for themselves, uh, people like Barry and Mitch and stuff like that. Uh, so I, I really wish we could have just read the, the private investigation that was done into Ms. Kiff uh, ourselves. Part of me feels like they didn't release it for a reason. Um, but uh, we'll see how that court case plays out. I don't know. I don't know. Um, if Adriana Lee was fucked over in the way that she was, hopefully she gets justice. Or if a lot of that stuff about Ms. Kiff was just made up to try to bring him down, then hopefully he gets justice for that, you know. Um, uh, but, but what is a fact is what Crazy Slick did, and there's no disputing that at all. And it's very good that her story came out. Um, despite uh, XQC and Trainrex coming from a complete place of bad faith when they revealed all that information, they didn't care about Adriana Lee's sexual assault at all. All they cared about was taking out Ms. Kiff and Hassan and, and people. And the fact that Hassan even got dragged into that in any capacity was wild. Remember when we all listened to the, the leaked audio call of Trainrex and all them listening to Adriana Lee talk about it? And the moment she mentioned Hassan, they were like, oh, Hassan! Oh, she mentioned Hassan. He's catching a stray. Let's go. They were all like so stoked about it. It's, it was disgusting how they were all talking about how stoked they all were about her sexual assault and everything. But, um, but it's good that the, it came out regardless. Uh, and it's good that Crazy Slick was held accountable and fucking thrown out in the garbage. Um, I'm going to post another one of my favorite bands. Mindless. Oh, yeah. Mindless Self-Indulgence. I know them. Yeah, yeah. It's been a while since I've heard of them. The though. man's been talking a lot of and succeeding a whole f ton as a lot of it's to destiny. What is this? Comes out. I'll be sure to keep you guys up to date. Bruce, drop a muff. Donates to destiny. The man's been talking a lot of and succeeding a whole f ton as well. So clearly, the man knows what the f doing. You know what I mean? Wait, why the f oh, here, Bruce? Me? Hey, thank you for the ten gifted subs, but you are literally a racist piece of sh. You're one of the most Wait, disgusting. Wait, really? nah, nigga, hit. No, don't one do that. One of the don't most stop. disgusting. God, no, Destiny, you're no, so no, dumb. No. Destiny trying to push this like stupid ass white fragility, fucking bullshit, dude. You can't be racist to white people. The concept of whiteness is was a thing created out of purity, purity. I I put that in quotes. Um, it's a political thing. Uh, to show who is in power. And over time, there's groups of people who are not accepted into that white category, but then we're later like, oh, you can join Irish people, um, a whole bunch of others. Uh, it's a system based off of purity. It's, uh, it's not a fucking thing. You can be Italian. You can be English. All these other things. But whiteness is just a system based around purity and who is the in group and who are the out group. That's, that's what it is. Um, the reason why you can be racist to black people is because they experienced generations of oppression, slavery, um, things like the N word have weight behind them. It's not just a word. It is hate speech for some people. That was the last word they ever heard while they were being lynched. There's nothing like that for white people. It's never existed. White people have not been oppressed ever. The most you can do is hurt somebody's fifis. Okay, like, even all my feelings are hurt, you called me the C-word. Saltine. And the only reason I say the C-word is because I, I know how Twitch feels about that. Fucking L-take. L-rip bozo on that one. Um, but, uh, uh, yeah, you, like, you, you can't. It's just so dumb. No, as I'm much as I do think, like, Bruce drop him off was being homophobic a couple months ago. Uh, but he, he was not being right. Destiny was the one that was being racist to Bruce Drop him off, Kai, 
and all that. And they called him out for being racist. So then he being the fucking loser debate lord that he is, it's like, I'm going to flip this around and I'm going to rhetorically own them in this debate because I have debate skills. Why don't you rebuild the bridge for one second, huh? Like, no. he honestly, Destiny might not even believe that, like, all the stuff he says about, like, how you can be raised toward white people. He just has debate skills and knows that he can rhetorically, like, steamroll over people. Like, especially, like, Bruce. Like, Bruce isn't a debater. Like, Bruce isn't going to be able to, like, hold his own in, like, a conversation with Destiny, even if he's right. Destiny knows that, and he takes up positions he does not believe in just because he wants to win in a debate. And that's why debate lords are fucking sickos, dude. They're fucked. Bruce, you're racist, but it's against white people, so it's totally understandable. Little Steve over here is Hispanic, he's Cuban, and he would like you to hop in VC right now. No, what the f? Oh, yeah, what the f? Dude, who gives up? First of all, you but don't my care about racism one bit. Let's start act like you. Hold do, on. Okay? So, I care about racism on. when it's unequal, okay? So, for instance, if Bruce were to say, like, listen, Destiny, I hate white people, and I understand you hate black people, but that's chill. We that Bruce has never said we that. You'd be chill on that. Then I'd be okay. But when he gets mad because he thinks I hate black people, but then he openly hates Bro, me. Destiny, months ago, you were like, these loud black streamers are so annoying. Bro, like, That's what the fuck? That's uneven. God, I can't abide. Yeah, but is it? But hold like, on. And is he's it like, I'm not racist. He sees it the guy, This is the guy that wrote the N-word manifesto. The guy that on Reddit wrote a whole manifesto about how white people should be allowed to say that word. Not even just like where he was like in context, where it's like, say you're reading a historical document or something like that. It just like literally, like even then, don't fucking say it. Just say the N word, okay? Don't be a fucking idiot. But he's the one that's like, no, I defend the right to say that in public, like whenever you want. As black people have been oppressed for centuries. The guy he had on the call was fucking based. What the hell? Who, who's that? Kikaseo Eddie witnesses 150,000 view bots in action himself. All right, science. We'll see you in a oh, bit. Sam. How the fuck? How's this guy got 161,000 viewers? Whoa! What, what happened the other night? I remember you said you were gonna go eat some spaghetti. Did you did you fall asleep right after that spaghetti? I don't think we saw you after that. I don't think that's real. I think that's like a bot or something. Oh. I missed you. Oh wow! Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think that's uh, passive that's spaghetti. Will do that. <laughs> Those carbs, man. That yeah. shit will do that for sure. That. Based, uh, unclaimable based. I know you said true to. I forgot to say that. He rubs girlfriend that loves five guys. You're so immature. She's giggling. Does semen make you guys laugh? What? Ew, I hate that word. What? What do you, would you rather me call it? Oh, and going back to like what we said about whiteness, the only reason why bl the idea of black people exists is because they were stolen from their home country of Africa and forced to come here and like lose every single bit of their culture and their blackness was the only thing that they knew anymore. Like that's the only reason why there's a concept of black people. Before that, they were African people, okay? Let's call it anything. What, okay, and like I said, whiteness, system, purity. Black people <laughs> not a part of that, according to the white in-group. <laughs> the porn title, massive goo on her face. <laughs> Five guys, goose on her face. <laughs> Is that what you'd be watching, Melinda? <laughs> no. Don't call IT Seaman. When you said Five guys, I immediately burgers. thought of the burger. Five That's guys where my brain went. I love Five Guys. <laughs> Oh, the burger place. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like the burger. It's my favorite burger. I bet you do. Maya gets attacked by a wolf. I missed that whole clip. I kind of want to see it. Uh, so we're good. they are just giving up. Oh, damn. And if they are see, captured, I've always said it. They're, the animals are fighting back now. Maya has been systemically killing emus at her uh, sanctuary for animals. Uh, and turning them into glue for people's cosplay. Uh, like anytime you see somebody cosplay glitter on their face they're most likely using uh alveus emu glue okay and the animals are fighting back future in a collaring effort then they would uh be given a tracking collar as well uh -huh. um also just as a fun occurrence, yeah i've heard that um realization part of me was never really sure where uh joiner lucas was coming from with that song part of me under like saw where he could be like doing it as like a criticism but at the same time, it also kind of felt like a little uh, too unaware of what he was saying. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that one, that song. And I've heard a lot of people say the same thing about that. But I, I understand a lot of people are like, oh, no, he's like, that's like a social commentary. But I don't know. I think, didn't he put out some other weird shit after that, though? Excuse me, find me to murder crumpet. 
Oh, sorry, bro. I didn't mean to clog the stairwell. That's my bad if you want to get in here, little frog. But yeah, that's where we met before. Oh but I could be wrong about it. I don't know too much about him, but I thought I've heard people say he like came out with some other shit too after that that was like, oh, okay, dude. I was just gonna say you kind of sound like XPC. Yeah, same. I heard that too. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you streaming? Are you streaming? Oh, dude. Bro, it's XQC. Why? Listen, XQC. <laughs> no, up there. <laughs> I'm actually a big juicer myself. So that's all I'm gonna say. I really enjoyed his little forcing thing that he did one time. One time. I know you won. I know you're from Wait! Oh my god! Wait, there's no shot. Oh my god! He dropped some whack stuff after that and kind of fell off. Okay. That's what I thought. That's what I thought I heard, but I never really followed him too much. Actually, do you want to show him outside yeah, the yeah, yeah. What a content brain Connor has. All right, Chad, get ready to meme it up. I mean, they're up there right now. Like, I've, part of me always just felt like Joyner thought he was... If it was a social commentary and he wasn't actually, like, doing some sneak this shit in the, under the guise that it was social commentary, <laughs> like, uh... Summit 1J causes discontent among the crew. What was I going to say? I forget. I forgot. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to say something. I forget. Um, like, he thought he was cooking. If, he, if it was, like, just a social comment, he thought he was cooking, but I think he missed the mark a little bit. But, yeah. Yo, look how stoned Summit is, dude. I love him so much. Here, wait, hold on. He's just so fucking ripped. Summit 1J causes discontent among the crew. I love Summit so much. Look how high. Wow, dude. Okay, we got Steelers ship. Fucking living in Colorado ass motherfucker. Smoking on his vase. The Summit vase. Streaming is for the degenerates, you know? That's what it's for. There's streamers out there that aren't degenerates. There's that whole side of streaming, but then there's the summits, the soda poppins, the the uh Um Saw those, you know. The wreckfuls. There are those, like I said, there are the the ninjas, the the Nikki 30s, Cypher PKs, of course, but there's the the degen side is what Twitch originally was. What is it? Oh, the Ashen Key. I appreciate it, Mr. Busket. I'm at a point now where I think I might stop, just because I don't ever want to fucking feel like this shit again, dude. Not being able to smoke and not being able to sleep or eat anymore. It fucking sucks. Oh, you didn't know that unclaimable? Wait a minute. Okay, yeah, you need to see the Summit Vase clip then. You've never, you don't know this Twitch lore. Summit lost his, I think it was either Monster sponsorship or which, one of them back in the day. Whichever one he's sponsored by now is the one before that. He lost it because of this. This. Huh. Oh, it was Monster. Okay. Yeah, Monster. His Monster fridge right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one's he sponsored by now? G Fuel, I think. G Fuel is dope. Because it's wild to me that a company like Monster, whose product is like objectively worse for you than smoking weed. Let's be real. Causes diabetes if you drink too much of it. Fucking is there that company's like, you smoke weed, bro? Okay, we can't work with you anymore. Huh. Oh, wait, here, hold on. You guys can't see it. Let me fix this again. So he thinks that he turns his cam off right there. And then he grabs his bong. And he's like, oh. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> I didn't know this was this one. Yeah, so that, that happened when that years ago. That happened years ago. A couple years ago. Yeah, that's that's what happened to some got him. So good. Continue. Your bed is beautiful. Sleeping Moon Moon, like another sleeping one of those degen streamers. I'm not too bothered, but you'd better the wear best. a condom. No problem for me. You will suffer the consequences after all. I wanna continue like this. 
give you thumbs, 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 thumbs. <laughs> what oh, game is this? Oh, yeah. Wait, yes. what? Oh! What the fuck is he playing? Charisma plus one. What the fuck is going on? NP and Melina sat what at the table with racist messages from chatters all the time. Or they called you a monkey lover. Oh my god. Like that'd be more Melina, you know? Oh, fuck. He is allowed to say that, okay? He can say that, okay? I get that. Because he's he's doing that satirically. He's, he's he's saying that like how they're pointing out how fucked up that is, but like. I get, I get a lot of shit, but yeah. who cares? I don't read it. I stop people from like. Look, look at you, look at chat freaking out, huh, Omega? This is the sort of stuff that we hide from you guys. This is That's the things that we get all the time from mentally ill viewers. It's normal. We just don't tell you about it. It's a lot worse too. But why bring attention? I wonder if they had something happen recently. Cause I'm gonna be real. NMP's been like fucking pissed off every morning when he's been streaming, like in the the first like hour of his stream. Dragon. I wonder if they're that, that's Apology what they've been dealing song. with recently. <laughs> Drag him down the track, so listen. Oh my god, dude. The toxic gossip train. It actually sounds kind of good. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. <laughs> Fuck you, Destiny. Station. Fuck off. Toxic gossip train. Fuck you. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free okay. to drop a like. And if you want to keep up with the latest news and clips, be sure to subscribe and turn notifications on. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Wait, what's all the drawing here? I I already post. We reacted to this last week. I already uploaded it to YouTube. But uh, this is uh, XQC upholding true kick values right here. Okay. Oh. Sh but it's also like one of those idiots that doesn't really know how to draw a swastika that you see like where they like try to tag it and they're just they show that like how fucking dumb they really are. What up, trope? Open a fucking window. It's so hot outside. Or trop. Oh. Troppy. Two years, Mr. Cap. Yeah, this is XQC upholding those true kick values right here. Can I get a welcome to the jungle? XQC L. Now, it made it even worse. It made it even worse. Um, but yeah, I don't... As somebody that uh, spent a lot of time doing, like, direct action, uh, especially, like, during the beginning of the Trump campaign where I would be at protests on the front lines and dealing with uh neo-nazis uh you'd see a lot of them that uh were just really always wanting to show how fucking stupid they really were and that always have been uh by like not being able to even draw a fucking swastika okay fucking dumbasses. Uh, at least like learn to be racist if you're gonna fucking do that shit dumbasses. god okay um all right moving on there's another one i think right Bruce argues that black people have it much harder than white people because yeah. Oh no! Did this actually happen? Bruce like tried to debate Destiny. No matter, like I said earlier, no matter how in the right Bruce is, like Destiny is gonna fucking rhetorically steamroll over him, and it's gonna make it look like Bruce is dumb. He made his first million at 20 years old. Like bro, bro, you have it so good, and it's not even about how good you have it. But stop acting like black folks have it easy. Who said they black don't. folks have it easy? Bro. Yeah, like that. I mean, even Destiny right there is saying that. Like, all you got to do is look at any statistics of like the wealth of a black family compared to a, like a white family in America, and you will see that there's still a despair, uh, like a huge gap. And uh, it's it's because of systemic racism is still alive. Like, I mean, we just saw it the other day with the Supreme Court ruling of getting rid of affirmative action. Um, a lot of people will be like, oh, because affirmative action wasn't perfect, like not at all. But uh, like a lot of people will be like, it needs to be based off of merit. Oh, like it used to be before affirmative action when it was only fucking white people in universities, you fucking idiots, and there had to be like black only universities, fucking dumbasses. It was never based off of merit, okay? Affirmative action was the first thing to get rid of that horrible shit. And now we got this horrible ass Supreme Court getting rid of that. Okay. That's what you acting like. Shit. That's yeah, what you're that's acting what like, I'm I feel like. like. Because you're coming at me like saying, oh, you're a millionaire. Like, I've just been had millions. I didn't make my first million until I turned 20. <laughs> yeah, see, Bruce is just not. He should not be like debating Destiny. It's not. It's it's gonna make Destiny look good, like to people. Oh my! Excuse me. Oh. Sorry. because that, that's just such an out of touch thing to say. 
and that's, a, me, and that's a blessing. Like a lot of people are gonna hear that and be like, "See, look, there are like, like black people aren't like, uh, like uh, being mistreated, and they look, they can make as much money as they want." And it's like, yeah, dude, those are like outliers, you know. My and that's a blessing. Bad, but, I didn't know the listen, Nelson Mandela I, bro, over here suffering his whole life. You were two dude, decades like, old until you got your first million. Me, dude, my. Emmeru hot and odd. Oh, Emmeru, come on! Come on, hit him with it! Dude, maybe she didn't even notice. Techie, is, is Techie her security? The guy who asked Pokemon to the prom tries again. You guys, you guys are friends with Pokey, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, can you just go up to I mean, how many years, wait, did he, how many years has he asked me to go to prom? You can only go to prom once, right? Like, oh, senior. You know, talk to him, be like, yo, this guy. This he is, Connor he's too, the like, worst. Yeah. The worst, I hate like, Destiny. I'm yo, so glad he's not allowed on this platform. Panera. Like, look, go get Panera soup for you. Uh -huh. Get the red, the extra red, you know? All that kind of stuff. You gotta wingman me in. So you, you get me in there. So you wore this, so that way I can help you try to talk to Pokey. Yeah. Fuck, all right, hell, I'll mess it right out. Yeah, ready? Here, I'll mess it right out. Uh, her name is Pokemon. Okay. Yo, Pokey. Here, I'll take a picture of you. Okay. Hey, ready? He's in. So you said you asked her to prom last year? Winter formal, but like, same thing, basically. And she said no? She didn't say, so this what happened. She was like, um, I don't know, um... Yeah, you're, I'm 25 and you're like 17, so like, well, now, basically a no. Now hold it. Seven. I'm gonna be 18 by the time school starts. Bro, you, it can't work like that. Okay, I'm 18, I'm 18, I'm 18. I'm 18. Stop know. the cameras, I'm 18, I'm 18. No, I'm 18. you can't, bro. Nick sends the wrong message. Melina actually, someone sent this to Melina and said, Hang Queen Poke kind of over. I mean, if you don't like her content, that's one thing, but I will say, a lot of people come from that angle from a very sexist perspective like uh, mo most of the time when people hate on pokemon it's because they're sexist pieces of shit but if you just like don't like her content but i i love pokemon monkey lover and she's great and i just she's uh, she's that. like one of the people that has done more for this she's like on the mount rushmore of twitch just like summit 1g uh soda pop and pokemon's up there like dr disrespect before he was a chud the DoorDash driver. She is like one of the people that made Twitch what it is today. The first kind of, Yeah, no, I know. I get, yeah, I get what you're saying. Mistake. I get what you're saying. I know Sorry. you're not like that. It was arguments. You're I a very based individual. I was showing that to someone else. Please tip this person very... Take tone and get to know But like people bad. like Pokemon, just women on the internet have a hard time existing just because they're women and they get criticized just because of their immutable characteristic that they're a woman. And uh, so like that's what goes on a lot with Pokemon. Yeah, I know you're not like that. You okay, man? Oh, yeah. Thanks so much. What? Was that the door? What was that? Yeah, what was that noise? <laughs> Destiny finds out the real reason why he was. Why is that, dude, dude? Streamer TV, you gotta stop sucking this dude off. Yeah. Because people, because the way oh, that it was interpreted was I was saying trans people are subhuman or something. That's basically what you said. That, yeah, that's what you said, Destiny. I actually don't know what that means. Okay, so but that's like the worst bad fate interpretation ever. No, it's not. Yeah, you know I who actually. My understanding is that my understanding is that, and again, I can only go by what I've been told because Switch won't tell me anything officially. My understanding is that 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 is even notated in the in my ban file that they notate that like it's most likely he wasn't speaking about all trans people, but the language which was highly inflammatory. That's what is supposedly yeah. in the file. <laughs> on Twitter, okay, dude. Not even on okay. Twitch. He has a problem with Emma Rune. God. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, Twitch is very open that they will ban you for off-stream content, a hundred percent. But he's like, oh, I just only said it about one trans person. Like, what the fuck, dude? God. That's a piece of shit. You miss Kip. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Dave, that beat touches me. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. Security guard doing his job, getting rid of the B. <laughs> what up, Thrasher? German streamers meet an Oscar winner. An Oscar winner? Okay. Yeah, of course. Random interaction. Bonjour. Sollen wir den Bootstour machen? 
Get Chad <laughs> Dave. Are you yep. with yes, yeah, hey. You believe it. I am an Oscar winning film director. Oh, you. I, I directed a very famous film before you were born called Woodstock. Woodstock? Woodstock? You Woodstock? know the famous music? Yeah, we yeah. all the festivals. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. Right. You can find me on Wikipedia. What's your name? I'm the director of Woodstock, Michael Wadley. Cool. So this is unbelievable. <laughs> but tell me what town... You are so lucky to be meeting me right now. <laughs> Ludwig, ask Hassan a question. Can I see cool. it? Is it? Stop touching my gift. <laughs> Dude. He's the Trigon. The giant Trigon. <laughs> oh, is he? What's his name? Do you like do you like Trigun? I've never seen it in my life. Oh my god, are you serious? This is one of the most iconic fucking characters of all time, Who? dude. Wolfwood. Who asked? Oh! Yeah, Ripozo! Cuffster to dumpster right there, bro. Every, Get fucked. Every night, you said. Got him. <laughs> How long were you doing that? Years. Because I got so it him. started when I was uh, 16. Oh, is it, isn't this guy weird? I forget what he did. Yeah. Well, Dr. K so, is trying to bring him back. At the time, I would the watch concept a lot of or the creator? I forget what the this creator. guy did. Okay, both. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So it's because at the time I used to watch him a lot, and one of his big. I things don't really care. We're just looking at sound alerts. Uh, new sound alerts that I can add. The first Wait, one what is this? Sound alerts. Streamer runs into a row thirty-four. Donald Duck sound alert. We're just looking at sound alerts. Uh, new sound alerts that I can add. The first one blew my ears. Uh -oh. Is that? Um, I'm gonna turn it down just in case. Well, low jump. Oh, what the? Oh my god, I feel so good. Oh yeah, oh, oh slow down, oh yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Ludwig shows Miskif, Hassan, and Emru how he wasted $1,000. Hey, more AI stuff. I've not been into the whole AI Twitch like streams. I don't really like them. Like they get fucking boring. Uh, the the Joe Biden Trump one's pretty fucking funny though. Um, but uh, this the, all this music is is funny. I feel bad for real musicians who are going to be affected by AI music in the future, but the streamer AI music is great. I love it. Damn, he's becoming the true anime protagonist of his storyline right now. Oh, dude, he's so smart. He's so smart. He took this AI song and then used his green screen to record a music video over it. I wish I knew how to work my green screen better. It's so big. You guys have seen me use it a bunch of times. It's so big that it takes up my whole wall. It's so hard to light correctly and make make it to where it works. What up, Trop? We did it, I think. I gotta play this game. We did it. I don't we even know it. if we're going to oh, this week, yes, though, since we're, we're gonna be doing the sponsorship tomorrow. Oh, it's We're gonna play some Battle America, Bit with Fourth in a little bit, Let's then go. probably some Diablo after that. <sighs> I just did so not, I like, uh, the, the homie Lamile bought me this game, like, two weeks ago, and it's just because of the shit I was going through this past month, I just, like, did not have the mental to, like, be playing this game. Gifted. Like, and make it Thank fun. You. OTK, member titles. Imaru Mami. I don't, I don't know about this one, buddy. Bro. I feel like Emmer is more like... She would not like that. More like the little sister who plays games too much. True. Nick Gladiator. Oh. That's a good one. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. All right. Okay, let's go to LSF, see if there's anything new here we need to know about. Tyler won on NA Healthcare. Oh. Oh, damn. He's back already? For those that don't know, Tyler won in his, uh, 
is I think it's his wife. I don't know if they're. I think they're married. Michaela. Uh, ha, she had an ectopic uh, pregnancy or a, abortion. Uh, and um, it was really sad. Um, and uh, I, I can't believe he's back already. I'm damn. Let's see what he has to say about NA healthcare. So long story short, not to get into it too much, I'm gonna bring up, bro. What the fuck is NA healthcare, by the way? But you would true. true. Wow, dude. And this guy is somebody that voted for Trump, probably. Like, and he's he's even. That's why I always said, even when I was working with Bernie, the campaign volunteering back in 2016 was the precinct captain for my my primary in Nevada. Um, like I I would talk to people uh that were that would like come and they'd be like, yo, if it's Bernie versus Trump, I'm voting for him, Bernie. But if it ends up being Bernie versus Hillary or Trump versus Hillary, I'm voting for Trump. And I, 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 I voted for Hillary. I saw the lesser of two evils there, but I totally understand. Uh, I totally understand why working class people were like, oh yeah, this corporate ass candidate is supposed to be better than this guy. Who's at least like pretending he's a populist candidate who cares about the working class. They ended anybody that believed that ended up getting fucking debated. Uh, but, um, but yeah, I, I get that. And it's like, the things Bernie Sanders were talking or was talking about were for everybody. It's something that if you're an unbiased person and listen to him, you would have been like, oh, yeah, this is something that helps everybody. Um, but so many people just get clouded by, oh, my God, I mean, he's socialism. Oh, my God, he's a commie. Even Joe Biden is a radical communist. Uh, but, uh, like, it's like Bernie was a, a populist candidate, a man of the people for the working class. He wasn't like, oh, I'm only going to help. Democrats, I'm, I'm against Republicans. He wanted to help everybody get health care. Uh, and, like, I even had, like, a friend who grew up in a household of the family, like, listening to, like, Rush Limbaugh, conservative talk radio. And even he, who, like, went into the military later in his life, like, and everything like that, and was always voting Republican. I remember him on Facebook during the Bernie campaign 2016 being like, oh, Bernie's the only guy I'm voting, I would vote for out of all of these people. He's the only one running that has any credibility out of like who you can look back through decades. And he's been saying the same exact thing the whole time. He's never been bought. Money has never changed any of his opinions. And he cares about the working class. Um, agree. It was W if only. Yeah. Right. Yep. Literally wanted everybody to have health care. Any real credit. Yep. Based Judah based based. I'm glad you're here. Um, yeah, NA is North America. Yeah. American healthcare is complete dog shit. And I will say this it's good for those that can afford it. If you can afford it, it's great. It's some of the best healthcare in the world, but most people can't afford it. And there's a, a window of people who, if you're too poor, you, you apply for Medicaid. I'm on Medicaid. Um, but if, you, if I made too much money, a little bit too much money, then I wouldn't be able to apply for Medicaid, but I still wouldn't be able to afford uh, health care, private insurance. Um, and I'm somebody that has a, a medical health condition, uh, my blood disorder that I've had for like decade now that I've known about, that I literally have to go for regular doctor's appointments to get blood taken out of me or else I'll die in my 40s. Like, so like, <laughs> there's millions of people out there who like can't afford health care. And it's all because uh, we have horrible people in our government, mainly conservatives, but also the liberals who, who, posture to them all the time um there's only a few true leftist progressives in our government right now bernie being one of them um but like you go back and like anytime there's debates on this like back in the like years ago there'd be conservatives on tv being like what you want health insurance to cover pre-existing conditions that's like a car insurance company covering you uh after you get into the car accident like you get into a car accident then you go try to sign up for car insurance like these people are fucking barbaric all they care about is like growing the profits of these companies because they're paying them to that's it and people like bernie are the only ones who aren't like that and then aoc ilhan omar rashid talib cory bush but even like people like aoc it's like we don't know like what could happen they could end up becoming like lib ass nancy pelosi's eventually who do nothing but just let the fucking republicans do what they want back when it came to roe v wade uh, the Supreme Court decision. <laughs> Who was in control of the government at that time? The Democrats. Could they have codified Roe v. Wade? Of course they could have. They didn't. 
They waited till it was gone and then said, oh God, you guys, you gotta vote harder for us next time and send us more money, please. We need more fundraising. Pieces of shit. Okay. So just uh, no, the modern day Democratic Party is there to like enable the horrible shit that the Republicans do just so they can try to fundraise off of it and keep their fucking jobs. That's it. Um, these, all of these horrible pieces of shit like Nancy Pelosi, Joe Biden, a lot of people will be like, they're radical commies. No, they're, they're moderates at best, if not moderate uh, conservatives, okay? If they were to run in Canada, they would be running on the conservative party, like Joe Biden. He would be a conservative in Canada, okay? Like, uh, he, Joe Biden's whole career has been based off of trying to, like, sh like, stop Social Security, Medicaid, Medicare, cut funding for those things, which is what Republicans do, conservatives. That's conservative ideology. And, uh, like, that's that. Oh! Oh, shit. Converted from a prime sub to a tier one Judah? Okay, here, we're going to go hype as shit for that in a minute. Um, uh, but yeah, if you get private insurance, you're lit. Exactly. Lower classes gets fucked over. Not always. Always how it happens. Um, but as if the insurance type would be a bad... Yeah, right? Yeah. Um, real shit show. It's so hard to vote right now. I agree. I agree. Um, I'm just like, I'm glad you're here, Jude. I'm glad you're here. Uh... Was very poor growing up and didn't have any medical insurance for a while. And it was hell for years. And I can only imagine what people are going through now. Yeah, the hundreds of thousands of people die every year because they don't get the medical care they need. There's people who can't afford insulin, which is a lot, like a drug they need to live. And like people like Bernie will take people over across the border to Canada where they've regulated pharmaceutical companies for how much money they can charge for their stuff. Where it's like all prescriptions across the border, like $5. That's it. But in America, we don't do that because of the free fucking market needs to thrive and uh these companies are allowed to mark up their prices for 300 percent like when the EpiPen, uh martin shkreli did that shit they're pieces of shit that don't care about anybody other than their bottom line and themselves that's it um but uh all right here let's go hype as shit for judah coming in with that reason <laughs> And we'll get back to uh, live stream fails. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. 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 Let me just let's finish the uh, let's finish this Tyler one before before we move we go hype. Let's just finish this Tyler one clip so, for the YouTube highlight. All right, let's listen to him say this again. So long we only got halfway short, through. It. Not to get into it too much. I'm gonna bring up, bro. What the fuck is in a healthcare, by the way? True. But you want to sit here and tell me that my taxes do anything for anybody? Bro, True. and we haven't got the fucking bill yet. We haven't got the bill. Based Can title I one. see the fucking bill? Very based. But what am I paying taxes for if my significant other is in the ER for two hours dying? Yep. That's, that's American healthcare. Um, I bet there's people in these comments being like, ah, like, did he not sign up for healthcare? Healthcare is great. I bet. Um, let's just see for a second. Um, explain how it's, uh, it's one, if not one of the worst of the wealthy. Oh, okay, no, I, I don't know. We're not going to read through that. Anyway, base Tyler one. Um, our taxes should go towards social programs like uh, healthcare, um, uh, higher education, uh, all that kind of stuff. But what does it go toward? Trillion dollar increases for the military industrial complex. Um, I'm not somebody that thinks like, I'm, like I, I believe in paying taxes because although it goes towards that stuff, it also goes towards funding a lot of things that keep people alive. But, uh, but yeah, our taxes should be more allocated toward things we should be in, able to invest in keeping us all healthy instead of relying on a system that, that g gains from us being sick. Okay? Other countries do this. It's, it, they're, not, they're not all these like, crazy fucking horrible places like uh, Republicans try to make them out to be. Um, and a lot of them are still like capitalist economies that just have a lot of social welfare programs. Like Bernie Sanders wasn't a socialist. He was a democratic socialist. He believed in social democracy, which is just like Scandinavia, all those places where they do social democracy. They're heavily capitalist, but they also have social programs for the people. All right, now let's fucking go hype. Yep, waiting room, horrible wait times. 
Yep, exactly. It's crazy, I wonder where my taxes go, and then you look at the state of most of the country's infrastructure. Exactly, it goes towards coups for those natural resources that we need from the Middle East and the South America, baby. That's right, brother, freedom. Freedom! Of course you do, Thrasher. You guys got good shit over there for your taxes. What do you do when you're playing Overwatch and Mercy is just too much to handle? When you're playing Diablo and Mommy Lilith is driving you insane! What do you do? Keyboard, I, it's all over. Hold on. Ooh, it's a little bit. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh fuck. Stop playing with them, right? How can I lose if I'm already chose? Like, 
If she feeling hot, then I make up his frozen. I get a bitch tired every time that I post. Damn. The party not lit, then I'd rather not go. If she feeling hot, then I make up his frozen. I get a bitch tired every time that I post. Damn. It's not bad, they be on my ass. I could hear you hating from the back. But let's see, I got bad, he got a bag. Nigga munching, ate it from the back. Nigga feeling gotta play a crew. Got the daddy, I'ma make a move. Breaking records, then I'm breaking news. Bitch be pressed, like who you? I get whatever I like. Bitch won't bark, but they wanna bite. I got too many for using a mic, bitch. Think, think about, about that when you type. She wanna party with spice. And the body gon' eat. Bon appetit. Ass all fat with the waist on sleep. Ginger hair, pretty cool. Oh, me too. I, I think everybody yeah, Come on. Like, Come on, anybody that hated her was just hating on her because they, they truly were in love with her. That's why. I remember when this beat first got, like, leaked, everybody was like, oh my god, what is this, like, Spongebob ass beat? And it's like, literally, they sampled Spongebob. It's, it's a fucking bop. And it's fucking great. But, you know, there's subjectivity that not everybody likes everything. But I do think a lot of people were just hating on her just to hate on her. Huh. Yeah, bikini bottom ass beat. That's what people are saying. It's like, that's what it is! Literally what it is! Like... If she feeling hot, then I make that bitch frozen. I get a bitch tired every time. Okay, let me do that. What did I miss? Did I miss anything important during that? If she feeling hot, then I make that bitch frozen. I get a bitch tired every time that I post. Damn. Um. Let's see. Oh, okay. I see that comment. Okay. Judah will, will address the Ukraine thing in a second. I'm not too knowledgeable on that. I know a little bit, but not much. Um, Tassan's better for. Uh, for Ukraine stuff. Um, um, we flipping a front flip. Yeah, dude. Thank you for inspiring that. Thank you for inspiring that. Thank you guys for going so hyped during that. Um, uh, let's see. Okay, here. Let's uh, let's get back into uh, this. But oh, okay. Yeah, just real quick about the Ukraine. It is like both both sides, Republicans and Democrats, like. The military industrial complex knows no bounds. Like the, the Democrats and the Republicans love them. Our military industrial complex has a vested interest in that war continuing over there because of how much money uh, is being generated. But at the same time, we have a treaty with them, with the Ukraine that says we will defend them. Like, so it's, it's like the treaty, you know, we're just doing like what we promised. But, uh, but yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not too knowledgeable, like, uh, a lot of that. I, I firmly believe the only way that shit's ever going to end is if everybody comes to the table, Putin, Ukraine, every, and they just, like, compromise and give on both sides. Uh, I think in some of those areas that are contested, there's people that live there that are like, I'm Russian, and there's some that are like, no, I'm Ukrainian, and, like, so it's very much, like, I don't know. I'd, like, I'm not that into the geopolitics of that area, so I can't really expand on that too much, but... That's that's really how I feel about it. It's it's not going to end until they they all just come to the table and compromise, make some treaties and things like that. Um, I do worry about uh, Putin though with nukes, but uh, at the same time, I say that we're the only country that's ever dropped a nuke. So, um, yeah, uh, definitely profiting. I understand why Russia's scared of NATO, but I'm a little bit like pinched the fuck right. Yeah, super mad that we're doing what we promised on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, understand, I think some people don't fully know that, that it's like literally like a treaty and we're just upholding that. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, Judah. But yeah, I, uh, I just, I don't know. I, like I said, I'm, when it comes to a lot of foreign policy stuff, the like really specifics, I'm not that great. Uh, um, hype song to add, hentai by, post it in the Discord. Post in the Discord. It's all good, right? There's nothing, like, crazy in it or anything. Because I see hentai, so there's nothing, like, bad in it. Like, any, like, nudity in the music video or anything. Um, but, uh, and you know, I don't have any problem with nudity, but Twitch does. New hot tub meta, Extra Emily. Oh, fuck. Well, okay. Uh, I mean, it's Extra Emily. There's no way it's a bad clip. There's no way it's a bad clip, right? It's Extra Emily. She's the most wholesome person on Twitch right now. Like here we go. Here we go. There we go. Cinna and Extra Emily just making some great Twitch content. Honestly, like, I can't handle seeing anybody in a pool or a hot tub. Because uh, that's porn. Softcore porn. 
Just kidding. Um, do you like Nianers? I like bananas. No, I actually don't like bananas. Never mind. They are wet, wet person. Okay, thank you, Unclaimable. Um, I didn't miss, if I missed anything while we were going to hype, anything important I didn't address, just like type it again. Judah, thank you again for coming in with that sub, dude. Really need it right now. Really need that shit. There was a time where we were maintaining for like a year and a half, almost two years, 200 subs plus, and lately it's been dropping and it's getting fucking rough. I wish when I met Tectone like on stream and he was like, I was talking to Sierra and he was like, you know who I am, right? I wish I would have been like, who Omega Wolf? But I was like nerding out. I was like fanning out. I was like, yeah, of course I know you. I have a question to ask you. But I wish I would have been like, who Omega Wolf? But I just. I was so like starstruck hanging out with Seer for the first time. I was like, fuck, man. I was like nervous. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, um, what's up? I think we're almost done. Um, Dante Rose female contestant on Keeper Kick. Keeper Kick? Oh, it looks like, uh, or Kicker Keep. Looks like people are still utilizing Austin Show content. Good. Austin Show started a lot of the content on Twitch. Um, like the, the show stuff. That's why his name's Austin Show. Um, music video originally was wild, but it's censored now, so you're good. Okay, I'm going to... Can I check it out after stream? Is it cool if I do that? And uh, then, like, we'll play it another time? I just want to make sure. I don't want to I don't want to fuck up at all. I appreciate you sending it, though. I will, I will let, definitely check that out and... We'll potentially add it to the list. I've been I've been looking for some new ones. I've been looking for some new ones for sure. Um, Zerka brags about having more subs than Pokemon before he got banned from Twitch. Dude, Zerka is just trying to cling on to any some form of relevancy. He's such a fucking freak weirdo. Um, he's the guy that when I was at TwitchCon streaming and I walked by him, he like came up and was like, "How many viewers do you have?" And then when I told him, he was like, "Everybody come to my stream, John Zerka." And he's like, "Dude, you fucking leech, dude." You get like, he's somebody that would get like 900 viewers or something like that at a time. And he's like trying to leech off of me who had like 15 viewers at TwitchCon. Like, what the fuck? But uh, he's a fucking weirdo freak. Um, I almost got invited onto his podcast once though. His like the girl that was like managing his podcast came in chat once and like asked me to. And I was like, yes, I was going to Trojan horse that shit. But then I think they knew. I think she like scrolled down and saw that I had like Hassan and Frogan. And stuff in my in my recommended streamers, and she was probably like, "Oh, never mind. This isn't who we want." But I was gonna try to Trojan horse it. Um, let's see. Um, okay, I think we're done. I think we're done. Yeah, live stream fails is over. Nothing too crazy happened on there. All right, let's watch a couple things, and we're going to play some Battle Bit with 4th. Um, 